Uh, this attack happens in, on 28 November last year, 2012. When I was to get out my family, I have a sea flash, touch flash in my window. I have a voice outside asking me, ordered me to come out with my family. I did so with my family. When I came out, I find out they are two people in my sitting room. Ordered me to give them the key of my door. I give them, one of them opened the door. And another two came in making for inside my house with AK-47. Then asked my name. When I see them, I move back because of fear. When I move back, my wife move forward. And I pray a short prayer. I say, Lord, I am nothing. I cannot save myself. I am a sinner. Forgive my sin. Jehovah, today your servant will visit you. I save my soul. When I finish this prayer, I move further because my wife, she's trying to beg them. One of them told my wife that they are there to do the work of Allah. No one will stop them. When I heard that, I know that my time is today. I move forward because I know they are there for me. I say, I am here. They ordered me to sit in their front. I did so. And the leader asked me, what is your name, sir? I told him, Habila Adamu. Are you an Algerian army? I say, no. Are you an Algerian police? I say, no. I am a businessman. Now he told me, are you a Christian or Muslim? I say, I am a Christian. He say, why we are preaching Islamic way of gospel to you? You refuse to accept Islam as a religion. And I told them that I am a Christian. We are also preaching the good news to them and other people that never knows God. One of them now asks me, Habila, do you want to tell us that a Christ, you Christians know God? I say, yes. We know God, the true God. That is why we are, we are preaching to you. One of them now ordered me to deny my faith in order to survive. And I told them that I'm not denying my faith. I'm ready to die as a Christian. Now, say, they have called my wife to be a witness with what will happen to me. One of them told my wife that your husband is stubborn. Plead with your husband so that he would deny his faith to be survived. And I told them that I cannot change my mind. I am a Christian. I'd rather die as a Christian. Their leader gave me the last opportunity. Havila, you have opportunity to live. This is the last opportunity we give you. If you are ready to deny your faith, you will be saved. I say, no, I am a Christian. I would rather die as a Christian. Before I close my mouth, one of them fired me with AK-47. He passed through my nose here. This is the exit place of the bullet, AK-47. I fell down with my face, blood everywhere. The gunman followed me in my sitting room. He matched me to see whether I'm still alive or I dead. He found out I am dead. Went out and left me there. But, but when I, Habila, you, you survived that. How is it that you were able to survive? I mean, that, that's a miracle, is it not? Tell me about that. Yeah, it's God. I don't know how I survive it. When I'm there, I'm waiting to see an angel holding my hand and show me, Habila, this is your place. But unfortunately, I heard my wife crying, saying many things, 
Say, Lord, why have you taken my husband at this moment? Lord, why did you not leave my husband in, us, in order to raise our children together? He said, Lord, I know where my husband is. He is inside of my Lord. Though when I had her, I raised my head so that she would not sin against God. I tell her that I am alive. Now she told me that even though you are alive, the way blood is rushing, you will not survive it. And I told her that I have a message for everyone that will heard my voice. Even though when I pass away, I have a message for everyone that will have heard me. I never know that I am the one that, that will send this, the message to the world. I told her to live in this world is to live for Christ and to die is again. That is my message to her. And Habila, you, you had many, uh, many surgeries or how did, how did you uh, survive medically? Yeah, after all this, blood is rushing since 11 p.m. up to 7 in the morning. When I'm rushed to hospital, in all medication then found out my blood pressure is normal. My blood level is normal. Though now the doctor started asking me questions. How come did I survive? How, what power behind my survival? I told them that the power behind my survival is Jesus Christ. And the spirit behind it is the Holy Spirit. That is how I survive. I am alive because God wants to show that the power of death and resurrection is in the hands of God. How are you doing now, Habila? We're, we're almost a year later. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Now I, I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm better. I'm strong. Because Jesus strengthened me. And was this was strong. this Boko Haram? Was this Boko Haram that did this, and why? Yeah, they are there to do the work of Allah. They want to Islamize all Nigerians. That is why they did all this, and it is a surprise thing in the morning that I found out all my neighbors, all the Christians' neighbors have killed on that night. I am the only survival of on that night. I'm the only survival. What, what but, in America can we do to help Nigeria? What should we be doing? Now, what I want America to do is to call our president in Nigeria to come to the end of these killings from 2009 to this date, more than 9,000 Christians have been dead. Even last week, in the secondary schools, tertiary institution, more than 60 students have been dead. I expected Nigeria, a president of Nigeria, to put mourning for three days for this citizens of Nigeria, but because they are citizens of UAE, they don't care because they did not touch them. We are crying, let this be end, so that the name of the Lord will rest and in I, Nigeria. I think, I think your president, uh, good luck Jonathan, would say, look, I'm doing all I can. We've had raids against these guys and they're still attacking. What more can he do? Yeah, he will put more security and let all the minds of our leaders be in one place to see how our country will live in peace. And then we can pray right here in America. Christians should pray for Nigerian Christians. We, we are urgent for all Christians, not only in America and all entirely, to pray for a Christians in Nigeria and outside Nigeria 
and whole entirely to pray for our Christians in Nigeria. What specifically, Abila, as we wrap this up, what specifically should we pray? Yeah, because when you look at the situations, many widows and many orphans are in Nigeria. Many Christians leave their houses. There is no place for them to run. The remaining Christians that in the north, they are like uh, condemned criminals waiting for the day of, uh, of, uh, of waiting for the day for them to, 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 to kill. Okay, yeah. we, we will pray that God provides for them and that this violence will stop. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us today. God bless Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.